Well, hey there, guys. It's your favorite backyard geographer out in the garage. I'm going through my junk, and I thought of you. You know, Disney Studios has a long history of sending Christmas cards to fans, dating back to the early 1930s. But did you know that the folks that worked on the lot made internal Christmas cards as well? Now, the only way to get one is to give one. So join me today as I welcome in the holiday season with some original artwork and Christmas cards from some of my very, very favorite Disney legends. So it should be no surprise that I'm just a huge fan of Disney original artwork and I feel that Christmas cards is one way that we can really see that artwork. So I want to speak to this piece first. This is an original pencil and painting, the beginning of a Christmas card dated from 1960. So this was done by Disney legend Bill Justice. And as you can see, he's been depicted here along with his wife Marie and their dog Kayak. And what I really love is that you know, Bill Justice created a bunch of different characters for the Disney company. You know, beginning with Thumper and all, you know, and my favorite Chip and Dale. What's cute are the little Chip and Dales that are down here. If you know, Chip looks a little feminine, maybe it's Chipina, which I'm assuming is just some rendition of just them as well. Uh, he used them in a lot of different personal uh, pieces and artwork, but nonetheless, you can see you've got your, you know, your design or variation of Chip and Dale with Santa Claus here. This would have been the inside of the card. And then I'm gonna flip this guy around and we can see two more pieces. Again, I just love the colors. I love this design. Uh, you know, where it says here, greetings, this would have been the front of the card after you fold it up. Again, you've got your the characters there lighting the candle. I love this a little bit of white out right here so you can see that there was a mistake made. And then here you have the Happy New Year again, you know, hangover headache <laughs> included here. Candle burned out in 1960. I just, again, I think this is so, so, so unique. And then what would have been done next is after he had created this, it would have been laid down. And then a high quality photo would have been taken of this image. And then you would print it out and you'd be left with something that looks like this. Now this is a little different. Uh, this is a Christmas card dated from 1958, but again, the same idea. This would have been the center of the card. If I flip it around, you would then have the front and the back. Um, what's really just neat about this whole system is that you can see that, you know, the the creation of the characters, that, that whimsical artwork is included in these cards. And these would have been sent to people, you know, in our office, people that you shared with, you know, that, that space when you worked on your projects and stuff like that. So anyway, this is what it would look like after printing. And then the final product, you would then fold it up to create a card that looks like this. Now what's unique about this card is that this is not Bill Justice. This was actually from someone else that had a very, very, uh, in, you know, special career with the Disney company. Again, very cute. Yeah, Merry Christmas, God bless you, you got baby Jesus and a cat. Uh, this person in particular was notorious for writing music. And so we can see this little song here as well with their cat. And then the back of the card is kind of, you know, the spoiler of who it belongs to. This was a, a card that was given to Bill from none other than Jimmy Dodd. Jimmy Dodd. Anyway, so I guess thought this was really neat. You can see his little, his little uh, Mickey Mouse ears or caricature there of him. So I guess, I don't know. When I think of the holiday season, I thought there was no better way to bring that in than introducing Christmas cards because we all get excited to see you know, the design and style that people select and send off in the mail to your home. So maybe you have an original Disney you know, Studios holiday or Christmas card, or maybe you just want to send me one. Well, be sure to like, subscribe, and we'll talk soon. It didn't play, Fred hit play, and so it stops. I don't remember what it was going to say next. <laughs> so, hold on, let me try that again. Sorry. I, I just I forgot the whole. <sighs> okay, let me try over again. <laughs>